Supposedly, three-wheel motorcycles were originally designed and marketed to the older riders, who still wanted to prolong their career on the open road, but could no longer handle a two-wheel machine. However, the comfort, stability, and new riding experiences ensured by these bikes eventually turned them into much desired products by the riders of all ages and genders. Let's take a look at the newest models within the segment and explore what the old time favorites have to offer. Before we depart on the three wheel journey though, subscribe to our channel and ring the notification bell. The 2020 model year marks the arrival of the all new generation of the luxury three wheel tourer, which addresses the requests of the spider owners improving long distance comfort and the quality of the ride. At the core of this tadpole trike remains the proven 115 horsepower liquid cooled Rotax 1330 Ace inline three cylinder. There is an assortment of rider aids like stability control, traction control, ABS and power steering. While the standard Spider RT is already a premium heavily equipped machine, the upper limited trim raises the bar even higher with superior wind protection, rear passenger back rest, and top case, heated seats and grips, signature LED lights, and refined styling. Introduced in 2014, the Tri-City family now includes four models, with the 300 being the newest and the most capable one. Powered by a 300cc liquid-cooled four-stroke engine, this Yamaha is rated for 27 horsepower and 21 pound-feet of torque, and in Europe, it can be ridden by B-license owners. The model is designed to attract car drivers who do not have much experience with scooters, so, it gets plenty of features to make riding safer, more convenient, and user-friendly. It is equipped with larger diameter disc brakes, standard ABS, auto-style LCD instrumentation, lots of useful storage, and Yamaha-developed tilt-lock assist system. The Tri-Glide Ultra is the bike that started the modern era of Harley's three-wheelers, becoming the first model in this class since 1973. Though it was originally viewed as a bike for older riders, in 10 years on the market, the Tri-Glide managed to become so popular that in 2020 it is getting a special sibling under the CVO subbrand. The model gets a custom treatment from fender to fender and boasts of new LED lights, premium heated seats, contrast wheels, plus lots of exclusive paint options to choose from. Most importantly, the CVO version comes with a bigger engine, the twin-cooled Milwaukee 8 117 instead of the 114. Arguably, the Nikon is the world's most radical production-leaning multi-wheeler that would be classified as a sports tourer if it were a traditional motorcycle. At the heart of this bike hides the MT-09 sourced 847 cubic centimeters liquid-cooled inline three-cylinder with the 115 horsepower punch. 
Among the attention-worthy features, we should highlight the ride by wired chip controlled throttle system, fully adjustable suspension, LED lighting, cruise control, and high-tech full LCD instrumentation. Moreover, starting from 2019, this motorcycle is offered in the GT trim, which is factory equipped with touring accessories like cases and a higher windshield. Being both the entry level and the most recently updated model in the MP3 lineup, the 2019 300 arrives with fresh styling and a more powerful high performance single cylinder engine. The 278cc liquid cooled four stroke now produces 24% more power and 15% more torque, resulting in 26 horses and 19 pound feet of output. The scooter rides on aluminum alloy 13-inch front and 14-inch rear wheels featuring disc brakes with ABS as standard. Depending on the market, the 300 gets two versions, base HPE and a high-spec HPE Sport. The latter can be recognized by its matte black trimming, contrast seat stitching, red Kayaba shock absorbers, and different footrests with aluminum inserts. Priced at the same level as many compact cars, the freewheeler is actually the cheapest three-legged beast in HD's range. It has been introduced to the market back in 2015 as a more reserved, low-profile alternative to Harley's Triglide Ultra. Among the freewheeler's most distinguishing features are the mini ape hanger handlebars, bobtail fenders, enforcer cast aluminum wheels, and a classic round headlight all of which give it a look of a custom-made bike. Its heart is the Milwaukee 8 114 engine, making 122 pound-feet of torque. Additionally, the 2020 model receives a new collection of the company-developed Rider Assists, named Reflex Defensive Rider Systems, to go in-hand with already standard ABS, traction control, and hill hold. While the flagship of Can-Am's three-wheel lineup costs a ton and is packed with luxury, this model is a more affordable stripped-down version that is tasked with attracting new riders to this vehicle segment. The Riker is offered with two engine options, either a 50 horsepower strong Rotax 600 Ace inline two-cylinder or an 82 horsepower 900 ACE inline three-cylinder, both liquid-cooled and equipped with electronic fuel injection and electronic throttle control. The new riders are lured in with the beginner-friendly CVT transmission with reverse function. This trike has tadpole design, rides on a solid suspension represented by twin-tube coil-over shocks and multi-length mono swing arm, and could be had in two trims, standard and rally edition.
The Switzerland-based Quadro Vehicles does have a three-wheel scooter model in the upcoming 2020 model year, but the original four-wheeler Cooter is an undisputed flagship of the brand and should be considered by any rider who is switching from traditional bikes. After all, what if adding yet another wheel would be even more comfortable? This agile city commuter is brought to life by a 400cc mill coupled with a stepless CVT and an integrated differential to make 32 horsepower and 28 pound-feet. Thanks to the implementation of a unique hydro pneumatic system, all wheels tilt in synchrony during maneuvers without losing grip. By the way, this vehicle is also offered with an electric powertrain for the fans of zero-emission transport.